Welcome to Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival 2024. It is day two, the quiet before the storm, and I'm here at the Fabrico booth where we have V Core 4 from the folks at Rat Rig, the newest iteration of their line of 3D printers. Let's take a closer look at this thing. This is just a first look at the V Core 4. We're gonna go further in depth with this and actually build one in the not too distant future on my channels. Watch out for more about that soon. Before we get more into vCore 4, let's chat about today's video sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is an excellent online learning platform that helps you learn by doing. They've got lessons in a range of topics from math to data analysis to programming and AI. One of the things I really love about Brilliant is how it helps you build critical thinking and problem solving skills. Rather than just memorizing facts, their approach gets you actively working through concepts from first principles. Personally, for me, I've been wanting to learn programming and creative coding for a long time. Brilliant has great courses that start from square one with Python basics, a language that's going to be really integral to my 3D printing and other maker projects, and it builds up to more advanced applications. It allows me to visually see and move around and play with the code in a more basic way that gets my feet wet and gets me started and build upon some basics. As you answer questions and you complete lessons, you'll get experience points, which add up to put you on the leaderboards. As myself being somebody with ADD, this is so helpful for me to stay engaged with what I'm doing, turn it into a bit of a game so that I'm not wandering off onto a side quest. If you decide that you wanna get full access to the courses that Brilliant has on offer for free for 30 days, follow the link brilliant.org slash really to give it a try today. And if you stick with it and sign up for it, premium annual subscription, that link will save you 20% off as well. Now let's get back to learning a little more about vCore 4. With vCore 4, they're trying to create a better ecosystem that you can build upon. There are three different kinematic setups that all fit into this one frame structure, as well as three sizes of machines. With the kinematics, there is the standard Core XY, as we are generally used to in 3D printing at this point, an A and a B motor, both controlling the motion of your tool head and your gantry, or if it's, as this machine is set up, hybrid Core XY. Now, hybrid Core XY, I keep explaining it as Core XY plus Cartesian. It's not all wheel drive, but it does use four motors. So what it does is has your standard Core XY just as the base setup does, but it has two additional motors that are not coupled to the first motors. And all they do is have a single straight forward and back belt path on the Y axis. The goal with this was to increase your acceleration and your input shaper graph improvements on the Y axis as you have the weight of the gantry slinging back and forth, the linear rail. You're always gonna have worse acceleration on your Y axis than your X axis, which only has to move the tool head. Well, with the new hybrid core XY, they add those additional motors to provide more oomph, more horsepower to sling that Y axis back and forth. To me, it seems like a bit of black magic how they're integrating two technically separate motion systems into one axis on a machine, but they've got it running here and running well. I'm not seeing much in the way of, mind you, this machine is not heavily tuned. This is a prototype unit on display here at the show, but I'm not seeing any major VFA or ghosting or anything like that that I might expect from these two different motion systems interacting with each other. And since you have those additional bell pass, those additional motors, you can then take this thing and upgrade it to IDEX, where it'll be standard Core XY on either of the tool heads, but it'll be set up for having two separate tool heads for multi-material or multi-color printing. That's the biggest thing about vCore 4 that's really standing out to me and is intriguing me is there's an upgrade path within this one frame and this one machine. You could start with the standard Core XY. I and mean, then if you're finding you want to push speed, you can bump it up to the hybrid Core XY. And then if your needs and your engineering skills grow, you can convert to IDEX without having to modify the frame in any major substantial way. They're creating a base ecosystem that you could build around. 
This does mean that the overall frame is a little bit larger footprint than it would have to be if it was just a Core XY machine, but that gives them room to park the tool heads. They are working on a new rapid tool changing setup that will allow for one tool head to move out of the way at the exact same time simultaneously as the other tool head kicks in so that you do not have slowdown on your tool changes. Anybody who's worked with a multi-material system, a tool changer, they know that the waste of time of tool changing, of material changing, is where a lot of your print time comes in those systems. They're aiming to reduce that time significantly. Also, rapidly changing the tool heads means less need for purging, meaning they have zero purge block with IDEX setups as they can go to a ooze guard and just very quickly get over there and not have to worry about it oozing away, dripping into your print. V-Core 4 is gonna be available in 300, 400, and 500 millimeter variants. Look out for a 500 millimeter variant somewhere near me sometime soon. A couple other stars of a show, things that are coming in the not too distant future, because of the extra internal volume that they have on this new frame, they're gonna be curtain cooling, your auxiliary fan cooling, add-on carbon filters, various spool holders internally, a possible new MMU system to add on to this, so not just IDEX, but actually additional multi-material unit systems. And a big star of the show, a lot of things folks have complained in the past about Rat Rig not having very good wiring when it comes to their machines for the kits that you need to put together. Well, they have a whole new electronics box and pre-terminated harnesses to make it... So it's going to be so much easier to build a Rat Rig. V-Core 4 looks like a incremental step in some ways, but a big step forward for Rat Rig. It's not necessarily the most technologically advanced thing here at the show. There's some interesting stuff, but I think for me, V-Core 4 is one of the things that I'm most interested in. I want to start playing with some machines other than just another Voron, another Voron. So look out for a lot more about V-Core 4 on my channel in the not too distant future and the Mandic Labs channel, where we're going to end up building one of the 500 millimeter kits sometime soon. In fact, you might actually end up seeing this exact machine in the Mandic Really studio real soon. Thanks to Fabrico for having me here at the show, as well as having the folks from Rat Rig here to show you folks V-Core 4. <laughs> thank you to these folks from Rat Rig, Miguel yeah. and Sonat. So thank you to everybody. Check out VCore 4. There'll be a link in the description. <laughs>